Okay, I am going to do a painter's palette today. I have um, about 360 milliliters of resin mixed up. So I'm going to start with that. Clear first. I have a ton of alcohol inks laid out. This first cup is 190. Or, yeah, 180. So I'm going to pour the entire thing in. I should have a tiny bit over mixed, but not much. So I want that entire cup. And then some of the second cup. I'm going to get down here and check for level because I did not level my board. Um, looks pretty good. I'm going to give it just a tiny bit more clear. So ultimately, I want three ounces of white, roughly. Um, or actually... Probably want more like um, 60 mls of white, so probably two ounces or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour off some of that back into this cup. This is gonna be my white mix. I'm gonna do this like a cloud pour. So I'm gonna give that quite a bit of white. This is Pinata Blanco Blanco. Of all the inks I'm going to use today, this is the only one that really matters at all. So, um, this may take a little longer to cure just because of the amount of mixative overall. You want it a good milky consistency so that's good i'm gonna set that aside a minute i'm gonna wipe my gloves off quick so i'm gonna start with just a ton of inks i have some ranger tim holtz some pixis some woody's goodies uh i think i have one pinata in here and like one let's resin. I'm not going to go over all the colors because I have a ton out. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. My glove's wet now, so hopefully I can open all of these. So I'm going to start with a section of pink. And I have three in each color family, so... probably really should have opened these all up to begin with. But hopefully they'll push back against each other and sort of leave room for all of them. come back up here my reds I'm trying to layer them in kind of like pop. 
pie shaped. Yes. It's pie shaped as you can make an abstract shape anyways. Concerned about because the red crept really, really far. And I don't want that mixing and muddying too, too much. Sometimes I struggle with the Pixis ones. And somehow I have spread too far, but I'm going to try and make that work. I thought I had one set of color left, but I have two. So We'll see what I can cram in. I'm going to overlap the oranges with the red quite a bit. Because I do want to get a little bit of yellow in here somewhere. a little bit if I come down here. There. And last color. Okay. So, all my colors are in. I'm going to come back in with this white and I'm going to use the stick because I want the lines to run in and out. From center. I'm not going to worry about if I get some bigger blobs like that. I'm going to go all the way around once and then probably around again until the mold is full. pretty close to full anyways. The white will be sinking through to the bottom, which will be the top of this when it's complete. My goal going into this was it would be a little bit like a um, color wheel. I'm not sure I exactly achieved that, but so far so good. 
I'm gonna get down here and look and see how close to full I am getting. I want it to just kind of slightly dome the mold. Or come close anyways. But I certainly don't want it to overflow or fill the um, finger hole. So. Just gonna keep going. I feel like I may be slightly unlevel. I think that this board I'm on isn't quite sitting flat. So I'm going to slide a popsicle stick under just this edge. And hopefully it'll push it that way a little bit. But not too, too much. <clears throat> That does look better. So at this point, I could leave this alone or I can go ahead and manipulate them a little bit and that is what I want to do. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these stir sticks, snap them in half, and I'm going to try to stay within the color sections a little bit. That's where the red track through made me a little bit nervous. It seems to be okay so far. All right, so that's it. I am going to let this sit and cure. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz the back. You know, there's very, very few bubbles because of the alcohol ink, but I do see a couple coming up, so. That was interesting on the ink. I'll have to see what the back looks like when it dries, but that was um, kind of cool and unexpected, so. That is it. I will come back tomorrow probably and pop this out. Okay, let's get this beauty unmolded. So that's how the back side ended up. And look at that. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's got that like cloud pour technique with a little bit of clear around the edge from where the ink's pulled in. And it is just gorgeous. Could be used as a functional palette or it could just be propped up as an art piece for any artist to display in their home. And I absolutely think it is beautiful. So. She'll be sitting for a couple days to hard cure and then headed to retail. Thanks for watching.